James Van Lunen has a history of targeting kids. In this particular case, he convinced a 12-year-old boy to send photos of himself dressed only in a diaper. Investigators say Van Lunen made contact with the boy in an internet chat room. The boy was in Illinois, Van Lunen here in Grand Rapids. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker calls it a whole new element of stranger danger. Computer access, phone access, whatever you're doing on the internet is a much greater danger and we see that much more often. Van Lunen received images of the diaper clad boy and in return sent the boy photos. Van Lunen was arrested in January and charged with several felonies. He pleaded guilty to accosting children and using a computer to commit a crime. Judge Kurt Benson sentenced Van Lunen to a minimum of nearly eight years in prison. The judge went to the top end of guidelines, noting Van Lunen's criminal past. Computers and cell phones have made it easier for predators to target kids. Now, kids are also more isolated these days because of the coronavirus pandemic, and predators are seizing on that. We're anticipating an uptick in child sexual abuse, computer crimes like this, once we get more back to normal and kids have the opportunity to talk with trusted adults that may not you know, be in their family that you know, they're afraid to talk to with right now. Becker says kids sending sexually explicit photos to other kids or sexting is also a troubling trend. His office has a program to educate kids about the dangers of sexting and to keep young offenders out of the criminal justice system. It, it helps educate the kids on these dangers. It's important for kids to understand that images sent over the internet may never go away. This stuff stays on the internet for forever. It can have an impact 20, 30 years from now. Van Lunen is awaiting transfer to the Michigan Department of Corrections. His maximum sentence was set at 15 years. In Grand Rapids, John Hogan, 13 on your side.